Okay, guys. Today, I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to see if I can take the acrylic white marshmallow. Excuse me. Aki gel. Um, and make some milk bath nails. So here we go. I've already got these pre um, done with the base coat, the Kirsty Meekin base coat. And now with this, because I'm using them on nail tips, I don't have to uh, worry about this being too thin. All right, so let's do the first one. All right, here we go. So let me get it in place. And I do want to get this thin. And like I said, this is just an experiment. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping so, though. If it works on this, then maybe I'll try it with a making the nail, making my nail extension. All right. All right here. I'm just trying to make sure it's about e equal on all sides and down by the tip. So if you're wondering what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Let me clean that off here. Okay, so with this, then I'm going to take some flowers some of these are really old okay because I'm not going to cure that quite yet well okay I'll put one there. Okay. Push it in a little bit there. All righty. Now I had some, there we are. going to say I had some leaves here. Okay. You want to go there? We'll let you go there. Okay. Now remember, I'm trying to do this as if it was a real person's nail. Good enough. All right. Then, BB has already got, get down there, booger. Same with you. Get in there. Okay. Mm. I already got some of my little flowers.
Alrighty, so let's see. Let's try. That's what I'm saying. My hands are always in the way. Here's some little flowers. Okay, let's see if we can get some red ones for the bottom. Hmm. Okay. All right, get these out of the way. Now, we are going to cure this for 90 seconds. So be right back. Okay, now what I wanna to try to do before I cap it is I wanna to try to use Milky. So, just want to see. Like I said, this is an experiment. All right. Let us cure this for 30 seconds and we'll be right back. Actually, what I'm going to do is let it set for 30 seconds before I cure it. So it can absorb into the flowers. And I'm going to see if that's going to make a difference. So we'll be right back. Alright, I think I'm going to do one more coat of the Milky and see what we get. All right, that looks pretty good. We're gonna cure this for 30 seconds and then we're going to cap it. Okay, so I tried to file it a little bit with the 240. Um, I don't suggest doing that because I lost part of the flower. So I had to put some more base coat on. Now we're gonna use uh, Clear as Day to go ahead and cap it. All right. So this would be the part where you're gonna put your apex and everything in. Baby's trying to keep her paws out of the camera. Now with this, you want it a little bit, not super thick, because you don't want the nail too thick. But you want enough on there to cap. 
tap it so when you do do your filing, you don't do what I just did. All right, let me see this bigger. Yeah, Mr. Buttons. Even though you're a hot mess. Let's... There we go. That looks much better. Much smoother. All right, we're going to cure this for 90 seconds and we'll be back. Okay, so this is done curing. So I'm going to buff it up a little bit and we're going to top, top, gloss, top, gloss, top coat gloss on it. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, guys, I got the other two ready for us, so we're going to just carry on with the flowers. So, I'm going to use some more vivid colors and see how that goes. I'm going to do a red. How about a red here? And... Okay, that must just be an optical illusion for me. Okay. What color are you? You're pink? Okay, we'll put a pink there. And these are real dried out little flowers. All right, so we're gonna use this fuchsia over here. There we go. And we're gonna use this purple one right there. Now guys, because these are like salon length nails, you can't put too much on it because the nail's just not long enough. Okay, let's put a little leaf there. And we'll throw one in there. Maybe. Maybe can get it in there. Same with this one. There we go. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these. Let me push this back so you guys can see. Um, Alright, Bibi's got her scissors. that okay there's that one hmm. Now, if these things fall apart as you get them out of your container, don't sweat it. You can still use them. Well, okay.
Nope, go that way. There we go. Only thing I say is be careful. Don't be doing what I'm doing and sticking my fingers in it. Okay. For crying out loud. Alright, and I think we're going to do another thing in blue towards the bottom. There we go, the light blue. All right. Now we're going to do that one. Trying to work more with my left hand, so I've got that don't always work. Why did I have a feeling that was going to do that? Okay, so we're going to take you. Maybe. There we go. Okay, there's that. I think the fuchsia would go better with this. All right, now we're going to cure these both for 90 seconds and then we'll be back. Okay, back to the drawing board. Now this one is called Poltergeist. So we're going to try this one. If baby can get it open. And I think what I'm going to do is let it absorb in the flowers and the leaves for maybe about a minute and see what it looks like. And then this one is called Quartz. Now this one, I believe, yeah, it's got the um, bits and pieces in it of Mylar. So this might look cool. So this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to let it sit for about a minute little absorb in the flowers and see what happens before I cure it. All right, guys, so we'll be back in exactly one minute. All right, guys, so it's been a minute and I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera. It does seem like it's absorbed in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and cure both of these for 30 seconds. And then we'll be right back. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another coat of poultry guys on this one and quartz on that one. Just to see if it gives it its milky look. I think it's looking real good. All right, now the quartz. I'm spreading the brush around so it'll get that look, but I don't want it overwhelming. Okay. I think that's turning out pretty good, honestly. All right, so let's cook this again for 30 more seconds and we'll be back. All right, guys, I'm not even going to try to um, buff it up, not even with the sponge um, file. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Okay. So we're just going to cap it like we're supposed to. Honestly, that looks so good. We probably didn't even need to cap it. But probably could have put a top coat on that and it would have been just fine. All right. Well, since you want to be a little booger... Okay, I'm done with this one. Mr. Buttons, you're in need. But yeah, because those come out so good. So I'm going to say that, yes, you can use the Marshmallow White AccuJoe from Kirsty Meekins. To do a milk bath. Get off of there. Thank you. You could use any white, I guess. It doesn't have to be Kirsty Meekins, but she's the only one. About the only products I'm using these days. Every once in a while, I use Light Elegance, but. All right. All right, so put this to the side because we're going to have to cure it. And then BB's got to go over this one. At least I got a, a good start on it. Alright, BB is going to cure this for 
90 seconds after I take off that gob. Here we go. Let's make sure there's... All right. All right. So, we will be back in 90 seconds and show you the results. All right, now that BB's done filing these, i put the something underneath there. There we go. You can see where it looks like it's had a milk bath. So, all right, let's put the top coat on this and finish it up. Okay, guys, there we have it. So, this one is done with quartz. Oh, that's not it. Quartz. That's this one. This one is done with poltergeist. Is this one. And the very first one we did was with Milky. And then we used... Marshmallow White, Aki Joe. So, I say you can do it. Um, you could get a beautiful milk bath design with using the Aki, the, the Marshmallow White in the background instead of having to put acrylic down, then put your white gel polish down, and then your trans your flowers, and then translucent, and then top coating, or I should say capping, then your top coat. So, and you can see right here, these nails are not very thick. Um, but grant you, these are on a nail tip and not a nail. On a nail, I would, or if you're going to extend out your own nail, I would say make the bottom just a little bit thicker, maybe, but not much. But I wanted to show you the thickness of the nails. They are very, very thin. They're not bulked out. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you um, liked it. If you have any comments, leave it in the comment box. Um, again, you could also put your little jewels. Your little... Yeah, let's do one and see what it will look like. Because that one, you really don't need it. Because it's kind of got like glitter and... All kinds of stuff in there to catch the light which is pretty that's why I like the quartz see it in there but I I'd like how this turned out I really do all right so I will put the jewels on that will be the thumbnail for the video so until the next one guys everyone take care take care of one another take care of yourselves see ya